Part 1. White Clouds. Ethereal Moon. The Cause of Sorrow. Though most stars will still glimmer in the crisp winter air, the Blue Sea Star has gone back into hiding. Legend states that the goddess prays for peace from her home in the heavens. In the town of Garigmach, the anniversary of the monastery's completion nears, and the people's prayers intensify ahead of the Millennium Festival, still five years hence. Sorry to trouble you. We are planning a grand ball for this month. I'm sure the students will be most pleased. Yes, certainly. However, we must not devote all of our time to frivolity. We have a new mission for you. We have found evidence of someone sneaking into an unused chapel. It is a building that was once a temporary sanctuary, at a time when the monastery was under renovation. This month, your class is tasked with guarding the chapel and investigating these intruders. With the recent state of affairs surrounding the Holy Church, we cannot afford to overlook any abnormality, no matter how seemingly trivial. I am ordering a seasoned knight to assist you to ensure the safety of the students. In times like these, I am afraid we must always expect the worst. Reporting for duty, Lady Rhea. I thought you two could use the time to bond. And to speak of important matters. <laughs> Appreciate the thought. Bear in mind that Geralt has a separate mission of his own. He will join you once he has finished it. It's true. I'll be away from the monastery for a while. But when I return, I'll come and watch you work. I'll be looking forward to it. So. Ah, Professor. Gerald was looking for you. It seems he has gone off somewhere. If he is not in his room, then surely someone has seen him. Ask around. I have something to ask of you. I have something to ask of you. Professor. Oh, Professor, are you looking for Captain Gerald? I just saw him in the Knight's Hall a little while ago. He was talking with a female knight, but I didn't get a good look at who she was. Gerald? He said something about visiting a grave. There's a graveyard attached to the monastery, so you'll probably find him there. I can't remember where the graveyard is, but I bet Sedith knows. Ah, the graveyard. Of course I know it. It can be a little hard to find. Would you like me to show you where it is? Very well. to ask you to join me, but I couldn't find you. So, here I am. I was thinking we should visit 
your mother. She's resting beneath this humble grave. Hmm? Oh, of course you would ask that. I wouldn't know where to begin. I suppose I haven't talked much about her. She was gentle and smart. Oh, so smart. A wonderful cook. Always kind to everyone. And she loved flowers. Whenever I brought her back an unusual flower, her face would light up. I cherish those memories. <laughs> I can't count how many times she made me happy just by smiling. And she smiled the most when she was pregnant with you. She died right after you were born. She wasn't able to spend much time with you. But she loved you with all her heart. That's the truest thing I know. Never forget it. This ring is the only keepsake I have of her. In time, it will be yours. One day, I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love as well as I love her. Well done. You have my thanks. Before the ball, it is customary that we host a competition of dance known as the White Heron Cup. The students are quite fond of this tradition. Each house must select a representative to compete. Their dance shall be judged by its beauty, grace, and technique. The student, who is deemed the winner, will be given the opportunity to train as a dancer, should they so please. It is a very precious thing, the gift of dance. I hope that you and your students will choose to participate. May I ask a favor of you? Scary things have been happening lately. I hope that this month, of all months, is peaceful. The ball is coming up and everything. Although I'm not much of a dancer, actually. Watching other people dance can be fun, though. I've heard people talk about the White Heron Cup. Do you know who will be representing us? Me? What? No, please, you can't! Professor, can you watch me practice? Is this how you do it? I'm feeling a little unsteady. All right. Here you've chosen your representative for the White Heron Cup. In that case, a word of advice. On an average year, the winning contestant has about this much charm. Charm is important, wouldn't you agree? Who wants a partner with no charm? Not me. Do your best, make sure to put in the practice, and good luck. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Ah, other than the legend of the Goddess Tower, of course. Have you heard the students talking about it? On the last night of the Ethereal Moon, on the same night as the Ball, if a man and a woman go to the Goddess Tower and make a wish, it's sure to come true. I have a wish, but I can't find anybody to make it with me. Gentlemen, my sincerest apologies for the wait. 
Thank you for gathering here on the eve of the highly anticipated ball to bear witness to the Academy-wide dance competition. Welcome to the White Heron Cup. The competition will be judged by me, your humble servant, Alois Rangel, and also the acclaimed former songstress of the Mittelfranc Opera Company, Manuela Casagranda. Yes, yes, thank you. Oh, and it should go without saying, but I swear to show no bias to my own house. Got it? Good. Last but not least, the glamorous assassin who does all of her dancing in the dead of night, Shamir Navran. Hmm. The three of us swear on our honor to judge the following proceedings with utmost impartiality and fairness. And with that, will the representatives of each house please make their way to the stage? Contestants, are you ready to dance? And is the band prepared to play? Very well. Begin! That's all, folks! Splendid! All three of you were fantastic! <laughs> now, let's hear what the judges have to say. Oh my, let's see. I suppose I have no choice but to vote for... The Golden Deer House. I must say I was surprised by your inventive style. I vote for... Golden Deer House. The way you carried yourself is striking. Great feedback, both of you. Well then, let's see. Factoring in my own humble opinion, yes, we have a winner. And I will announce who it is right now, without any delay. The winner of this year's White Heron Cup is... The Golden Deer House! Can't say I had much confidence going in, but this is great! Once more, please give a big round of applause for our talented participants! The time has come for the annual ball, but first, an eve of merriment. Okay, I'll admit it. The Officer's Academy isn't as uptight as I thought. Ooh! I adore such things! Dancing is the only thing I'm really good at anyway. There's a feast tomorrow, isn't there? Isn't there? Oh, I can't wait a moment longer. Dancing? Singing? I'm not good at either of those things. So? Dancing is fun! Oh, and remember that you can't dance with the same partner multiple times. It's tradition! That means you have to dance with all of the gentlemen in all of the houses, swapping dance partners as you please. <laughs> How scandalous! I, for one, plan to simply behold the pure essence of dance. I'll, um, watch from a distance. You can't just watch, Marianne. If a boy asks you to dance, you simply must accept. It's only polite. You can ask anyone to dance? God, whatever should I do? <laughs> oh, lucky you, Ignatz. Tomorrow, if only for a day, you may live out your dearest dreams of an exalted existence. As for me, I am surely to be overwhelmed with the propositions of desperate ladies. I will doubtless have little time for partners of my own choosing. Which one of you is dreaming now, Lawrence? Everyone, listen up. To no one's surprise, I have a brilliant idea. Teach, you'll want in on this too. This may sound impetuous, perhaps irresponsible, almost certainly impossible. But we're gonna do it anyway. 
In exactly five years' time, let's promise to meet again, right here at the monastery. A reunion? There's usually food at reunions. Count me in, Claude. Five years from now, will be the monastery's Millennium Festival, celebrating 1,000 years since the founding of Garrig Mach. I hear the Millennium Festival will be the largest celebration in the monastery's history. Oh, I get it. It'll be easier for us to all get back here with the Millennium Festival as an excuse. How true. As the new leader of the Alliance, I will certainly have occasion to attend and pay my respects to Lady Rhea. That almost certainly will not transpire. And you teach? I guess it's hard to imagine that you'll still be teaching here five years from now. But I'm sure no matter where you end up, you'll come running at the chance to see your adorable little golden deer again, right? <clears throat> that was your cue to promise everyone you'll return. Go on, set a good example, Teach. If you promise, everyone else will too. <laughs> I'm already excited. After five years, we'll all be whoever we're going to become. Oh, please, Professor, invite Captain Gerald too. I want to show him how well his apprentice turns out. It's settled then. What do you say, Claude? Is it official? The promise is sealed. That means we're all obligated to keep it. Five years from today, all of us will meet again at the monastery. Don't forget it, Teach. You and I will meet here again. Running away? I understand. You hardly had the time to breathe in there. It must be hard to be the favorite teacher at the ball. <laughs> poor, poor professor. So you do think you're the favorite? <laughs> I might have known. But where is there to run? This place is filled with joyful students looking for a dance. Ah, I see. The Goddess Tower waits for you. Professor? I saw you wandering off to this tower. I thought you might be lost or something, so I followed you inside. Everyone seems to be looking for you. You're surprisingly popular. I do find it surprising, yes particularly your popularity with the ladies. It isn't like you're very sociable after all. Not to be rude, mind you. Uh, I wouldn't know, to be honest. I have no interest in such things. The Academy is for honing one's skills, not for frivolous romances, despite what the other students may think. 
I overheard them gossiping about a place where a man and a woman can make a vow, and it is certain it will come to pass. Seems to be some folk tale they enjoy. I wonder where this place is. Oh, of course. I recall now. It's... Wait. That's... That's here, isn't it? Uh, just to be clear, this is pure coincidence. I didn't follow you for... for that. But we are here alone, so people may wonder what our aim is. Let's get out of here before someone sees us and gets the wrong idea. Are you saying you don't mind if someone sees us and thinks... Oh, I suppose you believe there's no danger of that since it's just me. You're treating me like a child, aren't you? Well, I don't mind either then. Obviously, there's nothing going on here. If you are gonna stick around until we collect dust, then so will I! Actually, I'm gonna go now. Don't you stay too long either. You'll catch your death of cold out here. It seems that everyone is having a delightful time. Will you not dance some more? How dull of you. Had I a body of my own? Oh, I would sing and dance until I fell upon the ground. But you... <laughs> do as you will. Ah, oh, you're not the only one who feels that way. Look over there. I'm bored beyond compare. Will you not follow her? Oh, come on, hurry up. I know that you are curious to see what she is up to. I hear someone singing from over there. Song. I feel that I have heard it in the past. Actually, it is not that I have heard it. I... Did I once sing that song to someone? No. There's more. I wrote this song. Oh, but how could that be so? If that were true, then how could she be singing it? Unless... No, no. I am suddenly so exhausted. As are you, no doubt. Quickly then, to bed with you. Captain? Captain! Where are you? Hey, Professor, have you seen your old man? Too bad. I guess it will have to be you, then. I'm back. Sorry for the delay. My last mission took longer than expected. Captain! Thank goodness you're here. There are reports of demonic beasts near the chapel. Nonsense. I haven't heard anything about the monastery's walls being breached. That's why I'm heading there now, to see what's really going on. You'll join as well, won't you? Of course. We're both sworn to protect this place. It's odd. Just before they appeared, someone saw a number of students heading toward the chapel. 
They were apparently acting strange, as though they weren't in their right minds. Shortly after, demonic beasts started to appear, one after another. Hmm. The students. There's no way those demonic beasts got in from the outside. But none of that matters right now. We need to act. Go summon your students. Damn it. I wanted to talk to you about something important, but there's no time. Oh, there's never any damn time. But this is much more urgent, so it can hold for now. I'll meet you there. demonic beasts here. They're emerging from the chapel. I'll head that way. The rest of you, protect the students who weren't able to get away. Help me! These beasts, they're... Uh, somebody, help me! You stupid beasts! Don't you dare come over here! Let's get to it. Who, me? Don't expect much more than that. Leave it to me. Underestimated me. The demonic beasts were actually students. How can this be? I stand ready. Stay focused. Ready and willing. Let us away. Ready anytime. I got this. Who, oh, me? Friends who couldn't get away, are they okay? That beast. There's 
a stone or something on its forehead. still have much to learn. Sorry. We have this covered. Pull out all the stops. Doesn't always go as planned. Sorry. That was a close one. <gasps> you saved me! Thank you. and a trace of evidence to be found in the chapel. This must have something to do with Remire. Perhaps... Wait! Huh? Another student? Run along now. Thanks for all your help, sir. 
<laughs> You're just a pathetic old man. How dare you get in the way of my brilliant plan, you dog. Run along now. Thanks for all your help, sir. <laughs> huh? What are you doing here? You must survive. Merely because there is still a role that I require you to fulfill. <laughs> First time I saw you cry, your tears would be for me. It's sad, and yet I'm happy for it. Thank you, kid. So this is where your father lived. Hmm? Are you still crying? If turning back the hands of time was not enough to save his life, you must accept what came to pass was fate. Agreed. We cannot let the wicked ones run free. Your father said to look for something here. He must have been referring to whatever is behind that bookcase there. Your father's diary? Huh. His handwriting is prettier than his face would suggest. Well, well. These entries here are from before your birth. He seems to have been writing this for quite some time. That part there. Horsebow Moon. Year 1159. Day 20 of the Horsebow Moon. All is cloudy. I can't believe she's dead. Lady Rhea said she died during childbirth. But is that the truth? And still, the child she traded her life for doesn't make a sound. Didn't even cry at birth. Day 25 of the Horsebow Moon. It's raining. The baby doesn't laugh or cry. Not ever. Lady Rhea says not to worry about a baby that doesn't cry. It isn't natural. I had a doctor examine the child in secret. He said the pulse is normal, but there's no heartbeat. No heartbeat. Day 2 of the Wyvern Moon. Sunny. I feel I must take the child and leave. But the church is always watching us. I don't know what Lady Rhea has planned. I used to think the world of Lady Rhea. Now I'm terrified of her. Day 8 of the Wyvern Moon. More rain. I used the fire that broke out last night to fake the child's death. Lady Rhea is in a state over the news, but I can't change what I've done. I've got to take the child and leave. now. That baby must be you. That means... Hmm? Someone is approaching us. Ah, here you are. To think that Captain... that Geralt would 
me his end like that. I hope you know that you were the most important thing in the world to him. He wasn't the most emotional guy. I'm sure expressing his affection wouldn't have come naturally to him. After what's happened, it's up to me now. I, Alois, swear to protect you in the captain's stead. <sighs> Sorry. This isn't the time for my blathering. Lady Rhea is looking for you. I came to tell you that. I'll take my leave now. This book is filled with secrets yet unknown. We must return another time to read the rest. Oh, but I have at least figured one thing out. I know now why our fates are intertwined. Professor, I have been waiting for you. I am filled with grief at the loss of our most celebrated knight. Gerald was an ally of many years, and also a dear friend. He fell in love with one of the nuns here at Garagmark. Their love produced a child whom she died giving birth to. It was her decision. She weighed her own life against that of her child's and, in the end, implored me to save the child. Your father never truly accepted that decision. He took the child, took you, and disappeared without warning. Your mother, she was my... I'm sorry for the interruption, Lady Rhea. There's something you must hear immediately. A report from the knights patrolling the area. Very well. Professor, you are dismissed for the day. Please rest and focus only on mending your heart. Understood? <laughs>